in this video i will show you how to make simple iot weather station using node mcu and dst11 sensor so without any further delay let's get started let's start with everything that we need for this project first of all we need something to measure the temperature and humidity for that perfect match is dst11 sensor you can also use dst22 but it's a bit expensive but it's totally worth so for the demonstration we are using dst11 sensor next we need a microcontroller board but we cannot use any regular arduino microcontroller so we will use node mcu which is based on esp2l e chip it has built in wi-fi capabilities so this is what we are looking for this project because we are working on iot lastly we need a 16 cross 2 i2c lcd display we need i2c interface for displaying the weather status like temperature and humidity we already have made this project before but to make it more interesting we will add an iot features using the blink application we will be using blink app along with its library to even display the temperature and humidity on your smartphone too now all you have to do is to make the connection as per the schematic diagram you can find more details like schematics and program code on our website the link will be provided in the description below once all the connection are done you can upload the code to the microcontroller but before that we need to set up the blink application so first of all go to the app store or play store and download the blink application on your smartphone now log in to the blink application using your email address now you can create a new project after which you will see a pop-up which says authentication token was sent to your email address which we will use later on the programming now select the plus icon on your main screen and add two gauges after you add gauges tap on it and name it as humidity you can even change the label now select the input pin as virtual pin and select the pin number as B5. Similarly repeat the process for other gauges but now for the temperature select the virtual pin as B6. Your reading rate refresh rate should be 1 second. So once it is complete, it's time for programming. Now open the code which you can download from my website. The link will be provided in the video description. Here you can change the Wi-Fi credential and your Blink authentication token that you have received on your email address. After that just choose your Node MCU 2L E board from the tools menu and choose your COM port. Now upload the code to your board and the project is complete. So here is the video demonstration you can watch and have a fun.
so that's pretty much it for this video guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to hit that like button share it with your friends and subscribe to this channel for more awesome content like this that's all for today see you soon on the next one